15 seconds left to get your bed in, but let's play ball. Here's Vicky Kawaguchi stepping to the plate. First time we've seen Vicky today, but she did play in the first ever game in the history of Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. Betting has closed as the 0 1 pitch comes in and making things 1 and 1. Again, what's on the line for this game? If the home team wins, that's the series. It's done. It's over. If, however, the away team wins, we go to a decisive game 5. 1 2. It's a beautiful day here at Scrapco Field. Vicky, her nickname, the Swan, or Gooch, much like our uh, co-broadcaster. Uh, but well ahead of that one, she goes down. Great balance, so look at that balance. That's incredible. Oh, here comes Jim Tomey to the plate. Jim Tomey is feeling it today. His batting up to 10, a slow ball to start things off, and that one deposited directly into left field. Bad angle there by Greg Vaughn, but it doesn't matter. Would have been a single nonetheless. All right, here we go. Mike Piazza now stepping in. Piazza originally drafted as a favor to his father. Here's the delivery. Slow ball here. Swung on through there and misses to make things 0 and 1. If they don't win, it's a shame. <laughs> Here's the delivery. This one hit well by Piazza. Back and deep, and it's going to get off the wall. Greg Mon has it, fires it on in, and the space runners are so slow that they're only able to take one base apiece on it. That short wall, it's a blessing, also a curse. Here's Jeff Bagwell now stepping in. Oh, this one outside corner. Bagwell tattoos this one. Lisa Crockett heading back, but it's over her head. Here comes Tomy, rounding around third. He will score. Bagwell heading for second. Piazza so slow, but is going to manage to trudge his way all the way to third as the melon heads have struck early. Oh boy. Not the start you're looking for if you are a home team fan, as Lou Ann Louie now will step in. Offering a bunt there, but she does miss at it to make the count 0-1-1. Two in scoring position. Only one away. Here's Louie. Oh, she does lay down the bunt. Piazza, those two slow. Bagwell, what are you doing? Jeff Bagwell is running into third, which forces Piazza to head home. Lou Ann Louie is going to easily take second base, but Piazza is out at the plate. If anything, the Melonheads did get faster base runners, though. Troy Glass heading in. Four-time All-Star, 2002 World Series MVP. As that first pitch is outside to make things want to know. Troy Glass, a career 321 home, sorry, 320 homers. As that pitch is hit the other way, Maria ranging to her right, but not able to get there. Delvecchio, he's going to have a bang bang play, not in time, as Bagwell is going to score. Maria Del Luna is going to score, and Glaus takes second as well. Oh, the train is off the tracks here. They got the faster base runners on board, and that was the plan. <laughs> Vladimir Guerrero now steps in. He's feeling terrible today. All of his stats way down as strike one is dealt in there. The melon heads jumping out three to nothing already. Oh, one the count here. Here comes Amir. That one just misses to make things one and one. Amir really sets up like he's a left handed pitcher, but here's the delivery. Oh, and that'll make things two and one now. Laos standing on second. Here it is, the two one. But a not swinging at it. It's right down the middle, man. Two and two, the count. Here we go, the two two. And Guerrero. Again, just not feeling it today. And he goes down swinging. 
Well, that'll be the end, the top of the first over. Melonheads put up three. The Athletics coming up. Tough go at it here. Oh, and they have to deal with Luan Louie, who is a tremendous pitcher. Here's Lisa Crockett stepping in. Here's the delivery. First pitch to Lisa. Ooh, big cut and a miss there. Lisa Crockett, her nickname, Mad Dog. I think it's meant to be ironic. As that one swung on and missed to make things 0-2. <clears throat> Lisa, very, uh, very serious compared to all the other players. As that one fouled back to make things 0-2. Here's Louie. Another delivery. Oh, she's painting. And Crockett goes down looking on the big left hook. <clears throat> Here we go. Sydney Weber now stepping to the plate. She's feeling good today. Is that pitch a touch inside? And Sydney not offering at it. 1 0 the count here. Luann Louie, of course, with her teddy bear as she's out there dealing. 1-1 one, one now the count. You might notice that Luann catches the ball with her bare hand. The only reason that she has her glove out there is to hold her teddy bear with it. 2-1 <clears throat> the count. That went a bit low, making things 3-1. The problem with catching the ball with your bare hand is it does make your hand hurt a little bit, which can affect your grip. Here's the 3-1. Sydney looking to lay down a bunt there, but just not in time, and the count has now run full. Here we go, full count now. Ooh, and she goes from being late to being early, and down goes Sydney Weber. Here comes Chipper Jones now to the plate. Chipper, the Hall of Famer. Two away here. And that one, oh, it's hit well. Coming on, though, and trying to make the play is Beltron, but it bounces just in front of him. And it'll be a two-out single for Chipper. Here comes Pete Wheeler now to the plate. Wheeler, of course, well-touted for his impeccable speed. Getting the start in right field today. That one touch outside and make things 1-0. Oh, this one. Good hit there by Wheeler. Bagwell's over, but not able to make the play. Guerrero, the tough day just got tougher as he throws to the cutoff man. The play is to the plate. Wheeler needs to go back to second. There we go. <laughs> You'd think a chunk here would be Beltran's home field. <laughs> Plenty of trash cans to find. Here's Amir Khan now stepping in. Two in scoring position here. And an opportunity to make up for his pitching mishaps in the top of the first. That one, though, inside, just underneath the chin. 1 0 the count here. Louie, here's the delivery. Oh, and he got underneath it. He timed it well, but got under it. He also. Oh, he botched! Oh, no, I thought he botched it, but he managed to make the catch. Oh, it was a little bit interesting, but ultimately the inning does end without any runs crossing the plate. Here's Jeff Conine now. A near two strikeouts in that first inning, but surrendering the three runs was un was not ideal. It's like, yeah, no kidding, it wasn't ideal. Conan typically plays first base, but also plays left field, which he got the start in today. 1-1 one, one the count there. Oh, someone's calling him a doofus. That's rude. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one. Oh, it's hit high into the air. But Lisa is settling underneath it. Oh, not able to make the play. Really unfortunate. She'll throw on to first base. <laughs> Up here comes Carlos Beltran. 
Again, we will refuse to talk about his stats and instead talk about what a big cheater he is. First pitch to Beltran, swing and a miss. You didn't hear the banging of the trash can, Carlos. You should have known that a fastball was coming. L1 the count here. Another fastball, and this one hit over onto the ground. Jacinda's over. She's going to flip on a second, make the easy play, and get the... Oh, get the lead runner! But Tony Del Vecchio tries to turn the double play for no reason. There was no chance at it, and Beltron's going to stand at second. Well, Pierce Vicky Kawaguchi now stepping in. This pitch... Oh, a little bit uh, catching the zone there to make it a call strike one. Nicky Kawaguchi, one of the weirder strikeouts in backyard baseball history. It's about from her ear to the top of her chest, but here's the screwball from Khan, and Kawaguchi just barely manages to foul it off. Vicky, her big brother, plays as well in this game, although we haven't seen him just yet. Here's the 0 2. This one hit over in the air to Chipper. Chipper knocks it down and is going to instead get the lead runner who just ran into the out. Thank you very much, Dirty Cheater Carlos Beltran. Hi, Mom. Here's Jim Tomy now up. Again, Jim Tomy, he's feeling it today. He's feeling powerful. He closes up that stance as he eyes that shallow left field fence. The bat, I got a free 1-0 the count there. Oh, Kawaguchi's going to try to steal second, but the throw down. Oh, it would have been in time. It was a brilliant throw by Sydney, but Tony not able to handle it. 1-0 the count here. Here's the delivery. That one hit the opposite way. Vaughn, though, going to catch it on a bounce. Kawaguchi makes the play. Oh, she's going to head home. Amir Khan is going to throw to second. And that is in time. But Vicky manages to score nonetheless. Four to nothing. Now the scores. The Melonheads manage to tack another one on. On that weird, weird inning ending play. Well, here's Tony Del Vecchio now coming on in. <laughs> Very true, Johnny James. Very true. First pitch, a tad inside, Del Vecchio up 1-0. Here's the delivery. Del Vecchio, he'll just foul it straight on back. Nothing doing there. Lou Ann Louie, 17 pitches in. She's looked pretty good so far. That one just a touch high. It looks like it might have caught the zone to me. But 2-1 and one is the count. 2-1. Ooh, and that one is fouled back to make things 2-2. Two -two. Dirty cheater for Carlos Beltran, DCCB. I agree with that one. That one popped up into the air. Coming on and trying to make the play is the third baseman, Gloss, but not able to catch it and not able to throw over in time in order to get Del Vecchio. Here's Jocinda Smith now stepping in. Jocinda, her nickname, the MVP. So that first pitch is able to catch the inside corner. Call strike one. Her birthday, September 28th. As that slow ball is going to get by her to make the count very quickly, 0-2. Jocinda, well known for her trademarked ponytail. As that one is going to make things 1 and 2. Made her first appearance in Backyard Baseball, 1997. Touch outside to make things 2 and 2. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Oh, Jocinda, you got to swing at that one. As she goes down looking at that fastball. Truly unfortunate. You hate to see it. Oh, and here comes Maria! Maria Moonshot Luna. Hello, Maria. First pitch to Maria. Ooh, a called strike there as that one manages to, uh, well, Maria swings and misses on through it. 
Maria has perfected the look of wearing a hat and pigtails with bows. Don't at me. One and one to count here. Louie and Louie working quickly. Yes, that'll make things two and one now. Here's the 2 1. Ah, oh, she got under it. Lou and Louie trying to settle underneath it. Delvecchio wandering a little bit far from first base, and that's why it's dropped. Here's the throw to second, and just barely in time, the great arm of Piazza able to cut down the lead runner. Up here comes Greg Vaughn now to the plate. Vaughn, the representative of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in this game. This is first pitch. Manages to catch the top of the zone for a strike. A career hitter of 242. He was a journeyman over the course of his career. Played for the Brewers, the Devil Rays, uh, the Colorado Rockies and Padres, just to name a few teams. Also the Reds. I want a tad high to make things two and one. Vaughn really a product of, well, every team needs to have a player in this game, so I guess Greg Vaughn. All three there now as uh, the count has moved to three and one. Favorable position here for Vaughn. And a laughing pitch, but it's going to miss the jokes on you, Luan Louie, as Vaughn has walked his way on board. Top of the order now due up here for the A's as Lisa Crockett's going to step on in. Lisa, she struck out her first time up. Went down looking. Lou and Louie, her first time through the lineup, did manage to collect three strikeouts. So she does have quite a few pitches in her arsenal now to work with. Sanitize my hands in between at bats. I suppose I can do that. Here's the 1-0, and that one is fouled back by Crockett to even things up at 1-1. One one. Sanitizing this one with French Lavender. Great scent. Here we go. Here's the 1-1. One one. Is that one fouled back to make things 1-2? and two? Again, remember everyone, sanitizing your hands is great, but nothing beats soap and water. Make sure to wash your hands. 2-2 two, two the count now, as there are two away. Here's Louie. Oh, this one. And for the second time today, Lisa doesn't even swing her bat. You gotta swing if you want to get the hits. For nothing. For the Melon Heads. As Mike Piazza is gonna be lay up, is going to be leading things off here. Amir Khan back out for another inning of work. 28 pitches as we start the top of the third. 1-0 the count here. Yeltsin did single his first time up. Here's the delivery. And that one is hit over. Delvecchio has a good arm at short, but he runs past it to cover the base instead of just fielding the ball. Piazza takes off to second for no reason and is going to get tagged out by the speedy Jocinda Smith. Bagwell now due up. He doubled his first time up. Ooh, well ahead of that one there. Bagwell, the cleanup hitter here today. He's played a lot today. 1-1 one, one the count. Bagwell, one of the few players with eye black on in this game. Really cool. Had some cool points. Oh, this one right down the middle. But Bagwell wasn't geared up for it as he's late on the off-speed pitch. One and two the count here. This one popped up into the air. Mirkon coming on and... Oh, the catch is just barely made. What's up? That'll send him back to the dugout. Two away here, Louie now stepping in. Louie has pitched well today, also has herself a double. First one a bit high, and that'll make the count 1-0. Amir Khan easily pitching his best inning of the ball game. This one, ooh, 
right down the middle and hit hard. Del Vecchio, he's got it. He's got a good arm and up against the speed of Louis, Tony Del Vecchio does prevail. The first good clean inning there for the A's as they will have the two, three, four hitters do up this inning. Here we go, Sydney Weber, she digs in. Struck out her first time up. Delivery to Louie. Ooh, called strike as it manages to catch the corner of the zone. Another one, same hooking pitch and swung at this time, but missed by Sydney. This one, a fastball, trying to change up the speeds. Kawaguchi has it. She has a good arm out there at short, and Sydney Weber is retired. Here comes Chipper Jones now to the plate. Jones played his entire career with the Atlanta Braves. Bowed back. Owen won the count. Arguably the best third baseman of his generation. It's that one, a touch outside to make things one and one. A career 303 hitter was Chipper, who batted, who was a switch hitter, as that one is a called strike to make things one and two. This one, ooh, fouled back. We'll do the one and two again. Chipper also a career on base percentage of 401, which is absurd. Foul back, <clears throat> and again, we're going to do that 102. That one, a touch inside, but Chipper swings and misses at it. Two away. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Well, here comes Pete Wheeler now to the plate. <clears throat> Wheeler doubled his first time on up. The Athletics offense, though, not quite able to put everything together yet. Wheeler, a big cut there. Hits this one high up into the air. Kawaguchi, she comes back. And she'll make the play. That'll do it. 4 nothing. still the score here for the Melonheads. As Troy Glass will now settle on in. Glass doubled his first time up. First pitch, a bit high to him. Fortunate miss there. 6 7 8 do up this inning. Here we go. Oh, Glass opens up his stance and manages to get a hold of one. That's going to go out to Vaughn in left field, and Glass is going to have himself an easy single. <clears throat> Here we go. Vladimir Guerrero stepping on in. Vlad again feeling very bad today. His hitting cut in half. He's just not feeling himself. Ooh, and you can see it right there. You can see it really on display in his first at bat too. He struck out and was way late on all of his swings. And the trend continues here. Mir Khan just trying to blow it by him. Two zero swung on, missed, and this time Vladimir up and ahead of it, and down he goes. Well, it's going to be Jeff Conine due up next. Conine, he singled his first time up. Does have Glouse over there at first base as well. Delivery from Khan does manage to catch the outer portion of the plate. Conan, one of the more complimentary players. If you throw him a strike and he looks at it, he'll tell you, hey, nice pitch. This one, slow ball, again catching a corner, making things 0-2. Amir Khan to the plate. Ooh, swung on a miss, and Amir Khan starting to put himself together. A nice little outing. Yeah, six straight pitches, six straight strikes, two straight outs for Amir Khan as the dirty cheater Carlos Beltran, DCCB, is stepping to the plate. 
Beltron, the architect of the cheating scandal of the Astros. There was no World Series champion in 2017. Put that in the newspaper, print it. A big left hook there from Khan. That'll make things one and two. 1-1 one, one the count here. I was out with the grounds crew early before this game in order to ensure that there were no illegal cameras installed in center field. Has 3-1 and one the count here now to Carlos Beltran. Oh, there goes the runner. Conine, and yeah, he's going to make it in. Gloss, beg your pardon. Gloss with the stolen base. 3-1 the count here to Beltron, now with a runner in scoring position. Melonheads threatening again. Swing and a miss! He didn't know it would be off speed. There are so many trash cans, you can see them all out in center field over there. But, no chance here for Beltron, who swings and misses way ahead of that fastball there. And that will be the inning. Khan does allow a base runner, but then strikes out the side. Here we go, Amir Khan step into the plate to start things off. 5-6-7 due up this inning. Khan popped up his first time up. Luan Lui, she's been lights out. Pitch number 50 there, already five strikeouts, and we're just starting the bottom of the fourth. The target goes up. Here's the pitch. That one, a tad low. 2-0 the count now. The A's trying to work their way back into this one. <laughs> that stuff right there from Louie is just too good. 2-1 now. Here's the delivery. Khan takes this one the opposite way over to Guerrero, who manages to make the catch. This is the fourth game of the series. The home team leads the series 2-1. to one. But the thing is that, uh, looking like we might be going game 5 right now. Delvecchio pops this one up. Louie, good wheel. She'll go over. Managed to make the play. And there's two away now. Oh, it's Jocinda stepping in. Jocinda, she struck out her first time up. Louie's been lights out. This one hit on the ground over to Vicky Kawaguchi. A diving stop, throw to first, and not in time. Jocinda with the wheels to make it happen there. Here is Maria Moonshot Luna coming up. She singled her first time up. Runner in scoring position here. It's the first pitch called strike. Gets the bottom part of the batting box. The strike zone, sorry. I won the count here. Louie. Ooh, goes inside with it. And Luna, the big cut, but just barely missing it. 0 2 the count here. Two away. This one. Swung on and miss, and Luna goes down on three straight pitches. Ah, but she's feeling good about it. She's just having fun. And it's now time for story time with the Gooch. Man, this is not a pretty sight. Here's something. In the big league, the A's were known as the Mustache Gang in the early 70s, when owner Charlie O. Finley paid his players to grow facial hair. The only thing I can grow on my face is a milk mustache. <laughs> I did not know that. Is that why Raleigh Fingers and all of them had the brilliant mustaches? That's amazing. All right, Vicky Kawaguchi stepping in. Amir Khan. Oh, Vicky trying to bunt there, but not able to make contact with it. Amir, he's got himself five strikeouts, but just that big first inning that he gave up is really biting him. He's ready now. Here's the pitch. The 0-1, Vicky trying to bunt again, but again, not able to make contact with it. Here we go, the 0-2, and ooh, goes down looking, does Vicky Kawaguchi there. 
Tough go with that one as she strucks out for her second time today. Oh, here comes Jim Tomy to the plate. Again, Tomy, he's feeling hot today. His batting boosted up to 10 on the dial. First delivery. And Tomy looking to hit for power here, but he gets popped up. Amir Khan settles under it. Oh, and he misses it. Oh, Amir, no. Ah, oh, the opportunity there. Here's Mike Piazza stepping in again. He's one for two today. Had himself a single. You see as he closes up that stance there. Looking to go the opposite way with it. Ooh, and that was the pitch to do so with. Tommy trying to steal second, but Sydney is having none of it. Guns him out. Looking like a young Yvonne Rodriguez back there. Oh, one the count here. Oh, that'll miss. Make things one and one. One and one the count here. Now two away. As the fielding error was erased there. Amir Khan, a chance for redemption here. This one popped up to him again. There you go. Make the play, Amir. And that'll do it for the inning. Melonheads looking strong. Looking very strong. Four to nothing the lead here. So here comes Greg Vaughn to the plate. Vaughn, he walked his first time up. Louis, first pitch, a fast ball, but fouled off by Vaughn. Louie and Louie, six strikeouts already today. She did walk one, but she has put together all things considered. Very admirable effort. That one, a tad outside to make things two and two. If you are just joining us, uh, game number one went to the home team by a score of nine to six. Game two went to the away team by a score of four to one. Ooh, the freeze pitch and Vaughn. Ooh, the best swing at a freeze pitch we've seen, but not able to track it down. Here's a screwball here. That one. Hit up into the air. Louis, she'll uh, hand underneath it, but not able to make the catch, and Vaughn will take first. Those first two games, by the way, both went to extra innings, and because of that, they... Both of those went to extra innings, both went nine. Vaughn actually just got a hit on a special pitch, which means now he has earned his team a special hit. Lisa Crockett stepping in. She's 0 for 2 today. Couple strikeouts. Keep in mind that if Lisa Crockett strikes out here, that's a golden sombrero, which means a bonus in fake bucks to everyone. 1-1 one, one the count here. Score is 4 to nothing here. In game 3, the home team managed to take the game by a score of 4 to 1. The heaviest betting favorite we've had with the Giants. And that brings us here to game four, where the melon heads are up for nothing here in the bottom of the fifth. Crockett goes down swinging. That means bonus bucks for everybody. A golden sombrero upon her head and 200 bonus fake bucks in all of your pockets because you were here to see it. Oh, Sydney Weber, she gets a hold of one. This one hit back and deep and over the head of the left fielder, Conine. However, no one really able to move more bases than they should. But hey, Chipper Jones now coming to the plate. You all should see your loyalty pay out here very shortly. As Chipper Jones now in. First pitch a little bit low and it'll be a 1-0 count here at Chipper. Chipper singled his first time up and then popped out his second time. That pitch, a uh, touch inside, and Chipper well and truly ahead now. 2-0 the count here. Touch outside. Oh, a freeze pitch, and it's 3-0. And, oh. and Lou and Louie throwing these special pitches is very tired. And the dirty cheater Carlos DCCB is in to pitch now first pitch to chipper yeah yeah son that's what happens that's what happens to you carlos get out of here three run bomb for chipper 
you love to see it. Way, way out. The aluminum bat. Cheaters get cheated on. Feels bad for you. Feels good for everyone else. Deal with it, Trashtros fans. Deal with it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's Pete Wheeler now stepping in. One pitch for Carlos. What's that ERA look like right now? Not good. Not good. I know how to play the baseball. All right, Pete Wheeler stepping in. He's one for two today. A couple of doubles. First pitch. That one swung on and missed. Well placed there by Beltran. Not gonna lie. All right. One two. Pete. Ah, he got under it. He also coming out. And he'll manage to make the play, and there's two away now. Here's Amir Khan now, as this game just got interesting. Amir 0 for 2 today. <clears throat> Had a decent pitching effort besides the first inning. Here's a screwball. As Owen won the count. Yeah, Carlos, you would need to throw a screwball in order to get that. Oh, won the count. Uh, a little bit low there. Make things one and one. Oh! The one one here. Ah, and that'll make things one and two. We're ready, guys. We're ready. If we know it's off speed, we're gonna bang. Bang the get everyone get your trash can. One, two. Yes! Yes! Oh, Carlos, so knocks it down. Pretty good fielding play, actually, as that'll be the third out. All right. That's respectable. I respect it. Now we head to the sixth. The Melon has a chance to add to their lead here. For the A's, they got to hold them and hope their bats come alive. The bots do, good, do a good job of making this fun. The, like, the airs being on just makes it funny. Here's a corkscrew pitch, but it's a bit high to Bagwell, making things 1-0. Bagwell, he doubled his first time up. As another screwball coming on in to make things 1-1. One one. Khan, six strikeouts so far to his name. Going to the outside corner with the slow ball, and this one's belted. Bagwell, though, hits it right at Crockett. The diving catch! Let's go, Lisa! Let's go, Lisa! I'm not cheering. <laughs> Here's Luann Louie now to the plate. Luann Louie, she doubled her first time up. Louie, she does stand to win the game right now. She was the starting pitcher. A soft bunt, and oh, poor Luann is quite tired. But no one's covering first. Chipper Jones! Da -da 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 goes all the way across the diamond to feel the ball, touch first base. He does it all, ladies and gentlemen. What a player. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame right there. Here we go, another screwball. This one, though, fouled off by Troy Gloss. Two for two today with a double and a single. <laughs> a big right hook here, and swing and a miss. One strike away here from the Athletics grabbing the bat for what could be a huge bottom of the six. Swung on, missed, and he goes down Amir Khan doing it big we head to the bottom of the six the A's down by one but a chance here if they manage to put two across they will be back to back backyard baseball bought world series champions here's Del Vecchio stepping in one or two on the day had himself a single First pitch, a little bit low in the strike zone. Del Vecchio says, I'll bet I'll see better. He takes that for a called strike. Here's Beltran, going low once again. He doesn't want to give Del Vecchio a chance to hit for power, as the count is one and one. A little bit low here, making things two and one. Dirty cheater Carlos Beltran trying to come out and close this one out here's the 2-1 Ooh, Del Vecchio out in front of the big hook right there as uh swinging a miss to even things up at two apiece 
goes up, cuts to the plate. Outside corner. Oh, and Tony out in front of it again. Beltran and the away team Melonheads. Two outs away now from tying the series and forcing a decisive game five. Here we go. Jocinda Smith now stepping in. One for two on the day. A couple of singles. Oh, a rise pitch here. But Jocinda, she hits it sharply back up the middle. Jocinda needs to beat this out, and she will. Since she hit a special hit, that is a special hit in the bank for the Oakland Athletics. What that special hit is, who knows? But Maria Moonshot Luna now steps to the plate. First pitch a little bit low. Maria taking it all the way. Imagine it's an aluminum bat, guys. Imagine. Maria. This one. A touch inside. Beltran. Understandably being very careful with Maria Luna here. It would be Greg Vaughn due up next. Here's the delivery. This one. Hit out in the air to deep left field, but settling underneath it and making the play is Conine. Vaughn stepping on in. Yes, we officially gave the nickname to Beltran because the nickname request was made using channel points by Raptor Mom 24. Two away here. Vaughn, first pitch outside to him. Oh, baby. What is the special hit that they have in the bank? What is the card up the athletic sleeve? 2-0 oh, the count here. Beltran trying to force a decisive game five. Here's the delivery. Outside corner. That'll make things 2-1. and one. Oh, man. 2-1 the count here. Beltran dealing. It's a bit low. Vaughn being patient. Being completely and totally patient. If he does if he gets aboard, it's Lisa Crockett due up next. Inside corner. He's gonna challenge him. This one. Oh, it's an undergrounder. Oh no, but Jocinda, she's so slow. She's so tired right now. It's gonna get to the fence. Jocinda is gonna turn and head to third. Vaughn is gonna stand second. Louis is also exhausted out there in center field and can barely throw the ball anywhere. Jocinda Smith in the slowest run around the bases you'll ever see is going to score and tie the game in the bottom of the six. Dirty cheater Carlos Beltran blows the game for the Melonheads. Vaughn stands at third, 60 feet away from the home team winning the Backyard Baseball World Series. It's Lisa Crockett due up. 0 for 3 today. She struck out three times, but has a chance to be the hero. Two outs here. Here's the 1-0, right down the middle. Ah, oh, Lisa doesn't swing. <laughs> Carlos Beltran with the strike there. 1-1 one, one the count. Here we go, inside corner. Ooh, Lisa with a big cut there and a miss. And now the Melonheads have to hope for extra innings as the Athletics have stormed back. Crockett puts it in play. Bagwell, oh, he bobbles it. Crockett, she just barely gets gunned at first as Bagwell managed to knock it down. And for the third time in the series, we are going to extra innings. What a comeback by the A's. Amir Khan, a man with a new life. As Vladimir Guerrero pops this one up in the air, Tony Del Vecchio and Chipper Jones, they manage to make it happen. Chipper makes the catch. Here comes Jeff Conine out to the plate. I cannot believe that we're in extra innings. It was four to nothing for the longest time. First pitch inside, 1-0 the count. Amir Khan looking in. This one, a touch high, and that'll make things 2-0. Oh, oh, man. I spilled my gooseberry soda all over my gook skin, Jack. 
2-0 the count here. Conine, he singled earlier today. One for two. Mirkon has battled through. He started super, super rough, but now has standing on the mound. 68 pitches in, seven strikeouts. Here's a 3-0. Make it three and one. Conine again, super complimentary. If you throw a strike to Jeff Conine, he's going to tell you, good job. Here's a 3-1. Again, pounding away. Conine taking all the way. Here we go. A full count here with one away. Here's the delivery. This one. Going back toward the inside point of the plate. It's Marina, Maria Luna. Up against Conine. She's got a good enough arm and that'll do it. Out number two. Dirty cheater Carlos Beltran coming on up. He doubled his first time on up and blew the game for the Melonheads. First pitch. Oh, just a touch out of the zone and make things 1-0. If Beltran reaches, it would be Vicky Kawaguchi due up next. Oh, he closes up the stance, but does manage to foul it back only. Tough, tough go right there. You would like, uh, you'd like to close things out there if you were Beltran. Swung on and missed, making things one and two. No one banging on the trash can for Beltran, so he is completely hopeless up there. Here's Khan. The one, two. No chance, son. He swings and misses. And now we head to the bottom of the seventh with a chance for the home team to walk this series off. Sydney Weber, Chipper Jones, Pete Wheeler, the two, three, four hitters do up this inning. Dirty cheater Carlos Beltran still out there and pitching here. Sydney Weber up. She is one for three today. Oh, this one a little bit high. Sydney playing it patient. Gotta love it. 1-0 the count here. Here's the delivery. Inside corner. Sydney, oh, looking to lay down the bunt, but just barely not able to do so. 1-1 one, one the count here. This one, a tad low. Making things 2-1. Beltran, that arm dangling. Here's the delivery. That one, a 2-1. Kawaguchi, she's going to have it. She dives for it, makes the throw over, and just barely manages to gun out Sydney. What a play there by Vicky. Here's Chipper Jones now stepping in. Hit a three-run bomb the last time that he was up. Two for three on the day. First pitch. Ooh, called strike. Beltron trying to salvage this. Oh, and with pitches like that, he made just an excellent location there up against Chipper Jones. Here's the delivery, a big hook, and DCCB. CCB. Yeah, that's right. Manages to get Chipper Jones to go down looking. Second strikeout of the ball game. Here comes Pete Wheeler now. Pete Wheeler has himself a double today. He's gone one for three. This one, a touch outside. Wheeler's going to watch it go by. DCCB looking in. He's got a sign. Ready to come on in. Oh, he throws it right down the middle, but Wheeler a little bit late on it. No one was banging on the trash can there. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A little bit high up in the zone, but it is a strike to make things 1-2. and two. If Wheeler does manage to reach, Amir Khan would be due up next. 1-2, and two, a bit high. And we'll do 2-2 two and two now with two away. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, and down goes Wheeler. 
DCCB had himself a good half inning there. Got a couple of strikeouts, and we head to the eighth. In extra innings today, by the way, the home team and away team have split. Home team and away team is split. One and one the record for each. Here's Vicky Kawaguchi stepping in. Amir Khan still out there dealing. Kawaguchi for the second time, well, for the fourth time today, missing a bunt swing. Missing a bunt swing? Missing laying down a bunt. Ooh, she takes a proper cut there. But a swing and a miss as Amir Khan up to 77 pitches now. No chance there for Vicky as she goes down swinging. And oh, Vicky Kawaguchi just struck out for the third time today. I remember because she has a very memorable strikeout motion. Congratulations to everyone in chat. You just earned 200 points. 200 fake bucks. First pitch to Jim Tomey, swung on and missed. Jim Tomey is dangerous today. Jim Tomey has himself, he's on fire, like his hitting's a 10, his running's a 9. But Amir Khan don't care and is up 0-2 in the count. Here is that 0-2. And Tomey, a ground ball, Khan's got it, throw on to first and two away. The Athletics finding the momentum and running with it as here comes Mike Piazza now to the plate. Here's the delivery to Piazza. That one swung on, fouled back, and missed. Piazza very briefly was the highest paid player in baseball. After his Dodgers contract in the final year, he was traded to the Florida Marlins for the last half of the season. And then after that, signed the most lucrative history at the time in baseball with the Mets. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one swung at and missed, and things move to 1-2 and two now. Amir Khan looking for strikeout number 10. He's going to do it with the left hook as Piazza goes down looking. 10 strikeouts for Amir Khan. Tim Hudson who? Oh, man. Still lagging? Uh, try refreshing your browser, Mom, or press F5. Oh, for three today for Amir Khan. Beltran? Oh, threw it right down the middle, but Amir not quite able to put wood on the ball there. Oh, won the count. He was ahead of the fastball. That's how geared up Amir is. Oh, a spitball from DCCB. I would expect nothing less. Oh, to the count. Here is that O2. A little bit high. Making things one and two now. Beltran, considering he came in in the sixth inning, he's already thrown 40 pitches. Here is that one, two. Amir, he puts it in play. Beltran, though, a very good fielder, going to flip it on to first, and Tomey has it for the first out of the inning. Here we go, Tony Del Vecchio now striding in. He's one for three today, you see him open up that stance, trying to take advantage of that short left field fence. Beltran aware of that, pitches him outside with the spitball for a called strike one. Throwing a spitball to a guy who has a lollipop in? Just gross. That's just gross. 1-1 one, one the count. Carlos Beltran, that arm dangling. DCCB deals. Oh, and the bun laid down by Del Vecchio, who's very slow. DCCB takes that, says thank you very much for the free out. Two away now. Oh, it's Jacinda Smith due up now. After Joe Cinder, it'll be Maria Luna due up, should we get there. Here's the delivery. Called strike one as that barely catches his own. Here's the delivery to Jocinda. Kind of going for the same location. Jocinda says not twice. She hits that one deep. Oh, 
Louie and Louie, she's very tired out there in center field. Jocinda also very tired, trying to run to second. Tome, it's going to be thrown in toward Conine, the left fielder, who manages to just barely getting in. Oh, Jocinda, what are you doing? She's going to head back to second. The turn throw, not in time. We got a double out of Jocinda. Here's Maria Luna coming in. She singled once today. Uh, opportunity here for the A's. They have the series winning run in scoring position. Oh, one the count here to Maria Luna. Oh, that one way inside as DCCB says, get off my plate. And Maria Luna doesn't even flinch. 1-1, one, one, two away here. That one just a touch outside and make things two and one now. Jocinda Smith, the series winning run, potentially in scoring position. 3-1 now. He is scared of Maria Luna. Greg Vaughn waits on deck. 3-1. Luna hits it up into the air. Kawaguchi though, the diving snag as she catches it on the line. And we are heading once again to the ninth. For the third time today, we head to the ninth inning. Jeff Bagwell steps in. He doubled his first time up, which feels like a lifetime ago. The 4-5-6 portion of the lineup do up. This one hit deep by Bagwell. Crockett underneath it though, and she'll make the snag. One away, here comes Lou and Louie. Louie, her greatest attribute, her speed, but unfortunately she's quite tired from having pitched earlier today. First pitch to her, she fouls it back. Unfortunately, very low on the energy is Louie. Amir Khan, you have to wonder how he's doing. Surely, though, he found a juice box or two in, this, in the process of throwing his 10 strikeouts. 1-1 one, one the count here. Tad inside, make things 2-1. and one. Let's see what Amir can do here. Trying to find the small strike zone of Louie. Oh, he'll do it here. But Louie lifts it up into the air. Um, and that one. Crockett, just going to take it on a bounce. Nice little single there, there, uh, there by Louie, as she bloops one in. Here comes Troy Gloss now. Should Gloss reach? Well, Vlad Guerrero waits on deck nonetheless. Well, it's two for three, a single, a double. Oh, it's right down the middle, but he wasn't. He was too geared up for it and swung way in front of it. The slow ball swag. First pitch. Oh, on the count here. Here's a big left hook. Gloves, though, manages to tattoo this one. Trooper Jones, he knocks it down. He's going to fire to second and get the lead runner. What an effort there by Chipper Jones, who during that whole thing thought to himself, I might go cover third. Nah, I'm just going to throw it to second and get the out. Here's Vladimir Guerrero to the plate. Guerrero just not himself today. Really down. 0 oh, for 3, 2 strikeouts, but he'll go the opposite way here. Wheeler has it. He's going to fire to first and get the out. Score that one 9 to 3, and we are going to the bottom of the ninth. 9 1 2. Do up this inning. Give my cat a treat. You betcha. Oh boy, I know we're in a tense portion of this game, guys, but we got to redeem the Give My Cat a Treat. Hey, more treats? Oh. Alright, 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 alright. Here we go, here we go. Intense ball game. But we have cat treats, also intense. These are from Aunt Diane. Yes, there's one. Here's number two from Aunt Diane. And last but not least, here is number three. Diane. All right, guys. All right. 
back into the ball game we go. Magic Turtle, thank you so much for redeeming the Give My Cat treats. Amir Khan has pitched every single pitch of this game. Here's Greg Vaughn. Two for two today. He has a triple. He has a single. I believe he walked as well. The home team, a chance to walk off the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series, but not looking good here up against the dirty cheater Carlos Beltran, who's up 0-2 in the count here. Here we go. Nailing it away again. Vaughn hits this one right back to Beltran. And Beltran, again, he's a really good fielder. One away. Here's Lisa Crockett. Struck out three times today. Has herself the golden sombrero. If you were in the chat when the golden sombrero happened, you got yourself some extra fake money. First pitch, a little bit low, making things 1-0. Lisa Crockett, the longest walk-up music in the history of Backyard Baseball 2003. I don't know about the other games for sure. 2-0 the count here to Lisa now. Beltran up to 56 pitches. He's only pitched three innings. Swung on, missed. And that'll make things 2-1. A little bit low here, but Lisa's going to let it go. Let it go. Be like Ilsa. Here we go. The 3-1. Can Lisa get on base? The leadoff hitter for this ball club. Swung on. Missed. And that'll make the count run full. Sammy does look good because she is great. Full count. DCCB deals. Outside. Showing some signs of fatigue here. He only has three strikeouts on the game, so might not have found a juice box as the potential series winning run is on first. Oh, here comes Sydney Weber. She's one for four today. Her last time up, though, she absolutely tattooed one, but the glove of gloss was strong enough at third to reel it in. This one, first pitch swinging, Kawaguchi, she's over, she'll make the play, flip on to first, and Crockett has to slide back in just barely in time. Two away here, and here comes Chipper Jones. Jones hit a three-run bomb in the bottom of the fifth to make the score at that time four to three. This one hit the other way, and the shift is not covering it. Kawaguchi takes an off angle, and we have... Crockett now in scoring position. Lisa, decent speed right now. Here comes Pete Wheeler to the plate. Chance to be the hero. He's one for four today. Crockett, decent wheels over there at second base. She is typically an outfielder. First pitch. Oh, and Pete swings at one inside for strike number one. DCCB. Deals inside. Ooh, Pete Wheeler, he'll take that one. One one the count. You can hear the crowd getting behind Pete here. A chance at backyard baseball bought World Series history. Make it two and one. Amir Khan waits on deck. He is exhausted from having pitched the whole game. Will we get there though? Beltron also showing signs of fatigue has missed with four straight pitches wheeler just swung at one of them here we go oh and pete always an adventure with him as the the ever chaotic pete wheeler swings and misses at one full count two away runners on the move ball four and dccb has walked the last two batters he's faced and it's all down to this. Either Amir Khan is going to be the hero. He's 0 for 4 today. Or we will see a 10th inning. Pitcher versus pitcher. Amir Khan, the chance to be the hero. First pitch, low. Beltron cannot find the zone. He has missed and missed and missed. Here's the 1 0. Khan, keeping him honest. Saying to you, I don't think you can throw me. 
enough strikes to get me out. Here's DCCB. This one inside. Khan lifts it up in the air. Vladimir Guerrero coming on. And he drops it. That's it. That's the ball game. The home team is going to walk it off. Pete Wheeler trying to rub it in for good measure. But that's it. Six to four. The biggest comeback in the history of the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. And it's the Oakland Athletics who have come back to win it. As the home team go back to back in the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. The greatest comeback in history. Absolutely insane. They were down four to nothing heading into the bottom of the fifth. Fight all the way back. Force extra innings. And it is Amir Khan who pitches the complete game and at the same time walks us off. Poor Vladimir Guerrero feeling under the weather. Dirty cheater Carlos Beltran brought to justice. Let's make sure to pay out the winners here. Oh. There we go. Congratulations to the winner. Oh, man. Let's take a look at the loyalty leaderboard to close that one on out. At the top of the leaderboard, choosing the correct winner in that last game, Raptor Mom 24 with a total of 5,279 points. Big congratulations to you, Raptor Mom 24 for your victory here today. With the silver medal, we got Legally Mute with 3,265 points. Beautifully done, Legally Mute. Justice has been served as the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series has put right what once went wrong IRL. In third place, we have Mighty Caesar 37 with a very strong performance on Friday. And coming in third with 3,227 points. Ooh, just barely separated between you and Legally Mute. I actually come in third, three points behind you. So that's kind of funny. My betting's been terrible, I suppose. Wow, guys. Wow. I have to say, as a broadcaster, that is the most hype thing I've ever broadcasted. Woo! Woo! Oh, wait. I need to change the... Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Home team wins. Three to one. Wow. Absolutely tremendous baseball on display today. I do thank you all so much for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. This presentation was brought to you by Joe Roll Sports. That's going to wrap up the stream for today, guys. Be sure to join us again on Wednesday. I think that we're going to be making uh, Sunday our designated Backyard Baseball Day. If that's something that interests you, please do let me know. We do thank our producer, Samantha, along with everyone who donated points. We especially like to thank our new followers for today, John James 3 and Mega Protest and me. And of course, we thank our five subscribers as well, our top bit donators, and a special shout out to Raptor Mom 24 our leader in with 5,339 fake dollars. Again, we thank you so much for joining us. We hope to see you again next time. And for everyone here at Joe Roll Sports, have a great night. Bye.